Hey there, this week I'm out in Colorado here. Um, I've been helping my sister-in-law with some renovations in her house and uh, just generally getting away for some hiking. It's been nice to have a little bit of a change from Tennessee this year. So um, coming to you from Colorado this week, um, I thought we'd have a little look at a great old time fiddle tune this week called the Highlanders Farewell. Uh, this tune comes from playing of a great uh, Virginia fiddle, to, uh, fiddle player, old time fiddle player named Emmett Lundy. Uh, this is a really interesting tune because um, it really kind of demonstrates some of the ties to Scotland um, and particular types of old time uh, fiddle in America. Um, obviously old time music is very heavily influenced by, you know, fiddle traditions from Scotland and Ireland and, and other parts of Europe, as well as um, a lot of string band music and banjo music and um, rhythms and things brought over from Africa. Um, so this is kind of a really interesting mix of um, what happens to a traditional tune when it gets, when it got brought to America. Um, what's cool about this tune is that uh, still today over in Scotland and, and in Cape Breton up in Canada, uh, they play this tune, um, The Highlanders Farewell, which is a Scottish Strass Bay um, type of dance tune. And um, it sounds reminiscent of, of this version, but also a little different. And maybe I'll play you both versions so you can kind of hear um, how the tune may have sounded when it was first brought over and then how it's kind of developed um, into an American style tune. Um, so pretty, some pretty cool kind of like you know, you can really see the through line um, of, of some of the immigration um, in this tune, particularly. It's a really good example of that. So yeah, the Highlanders Farewell, I'll, I'll play it to you a couple of times, um, the version from Emmett Lundy, and then I will have a little go at playing the Scottish version, the, the Scottish Stress Bay. It's been a while since I've done much Scottish fiddling, so um, we'll have a little go at that, and then we'll uh, get into breaking down the tune, uh, going over some, some old time bowing exercises again and um, putting it all together again. So back into the old time this week. Okay, here's the Highlanders Farewell. <laughs> Thank you. 
that tune. I'll give you a quick little uh, demo of uh, maybe what the Scottish Stress Bay version sounds like. So this would be the version that they play in Scotland. Um, I don't know that this is exactly how they would have played it um, hundreds of years ago, but it's most likely pretty close to something like this. Um, and this is how they still play it in Scotland and in Cape Breton. Um, like this. So it's a stress bay which has this kind of particular rhythmic um, snap to it. The da 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 like this. Very sort of uh, in, um, specific uh, type of rhythm that, that comes up a lot in Scottish music. is quite similar actually and um, you can really see the through line there from Scotland through to America so that's pretty cool um, all right so let's just uh, quickly go over a couple of Boeing um, Boeing ideas for the old-time version here and um, I'm just going to go over some circle Boeing uh, some figure of eight Boeing and some um, and some digs or scoops um, as I call them because um, these are going to be the techniques that we're mostly going to be using. Um, I have done sort of some in-depth looks at these in the past, so this will just be a bit of a, a reminder. Um, it's always good to kind of go over the, uh, the particular bowing techniques and, and, and kind of figure out exactly where they sit in the tune. So first of all, um, the idea of the circle bow was that... Um, if we're playing on the open G string there, when we do a down bow, we kind of lift our arm a little for the up bow. So it's like arm down here, arm up a little, but we're still staying on the G string or the whatever string you're on. Um, and what ends up happening is this little bit of a circle motion at the tip of your bow, or at the heel of your bow, I should say, right by your pinky finger sort of ends up being a little bit of a circle. And this is kind of to help us get like a particular emphasis on the down bow, really. So it should be kind of like da, 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 da. Like a particular strongness on the down bow. So. This happens a lot in this tune. And and it also is a little dotted, you know, like the the the... Um, the quavers, or <laughs> the eighth notes, um, as you might say, uh, are kind of dotted, like. Maybe not quite that exaggerated, but um, not, it's definitely not. Um, very straight like that. So this kind of helps us get that. So this is just kind of like introducing that bow rocking but on a down and an up. So we've got down on the down bow and then up on the up bow. Okay, figure of eight bowing is just that same idea, but we extend the down bow and the up bow one extra. So we get a full down up in each bow direction. So the down bow, we've got a down up, and then the up bow, we've got a down up. So the pattern that we end up making with our right hand 
at the heel is like a sideways eight or a snake biting its tail kind of vibe like that and that really gets some um, some rhythm into our bow there as opposed to just the straight kind of up and down trick that um, and the last one is the the scoop or the dig as I call it which is kind of like when you move from one string to the next in the up bow you make this little scoop with the tip of your bow it usually starts with a down scoop down scoop so practice that a few times Also going to be doing a, a few bow strokes here where we have like extra long like two full down up down up so that's not quite a figure of eight which is just down up and then we change direction and do down up this time it's going to be down up down up all in the down bow and then again in the up bow so it'll be like that's kind of like an extra squiggle <laughs> we've got like you know a figure of eight with an extra loop or something like that. Um, I don't know what you would call that exactly. So those are the little bowing. Um, uh, this tune is basically going to be made up of, of all of those uh, four little bowing ideas and um, just put into different places. Okay, let's get into the melody. Um, the first sort of half of the A section really is played with this first finger down on the G string and fourth finger down on the D string, um, a unison of the note A. And we kind of play the melody with that drone. It kind of sounds bagpiping, you know, a little bit. I'm just going to teach you the melody without the fourth finger, just in case that you know if that's difficult for you, you can um, you can add that in in your own time, um, or from the beginning if if that's where you're at. But um, I'm just going to teach it to you uh, with the melody and the G string to start with, and uh, we can add that a little later. So first thing that we're going to do is we've got first finger on the G string here, and we've got our extra long. Down bow and up bow with the two rocks. So we've got rock, 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 rock. So that's our very first thing. Down bow and an up bow. Okay, next thing we have is. Okay, so this is a this is kind of a little bit of a tricky um, as far as the bowing goes. So we have a little sort of pull-off here from the second to the first finger. So it's so we're going to do kind of like one, two, three, and then on the fourth beat we're going to go up. So and then we're going to do a dig, but because it's starting on the G string, it's all just going to be on the G string. So one, but we get that down scoop, down and scoop. So from the top we have squiggle. Up bow, squiggle, and then one, two, three, up, scoop. Okay, so just particularly, I think it's interesting the one, two, three, four. So that's like three down and one up, and then dig. If you can get that, that is um, one, part, one of the most tricky parts of the tune, I would say. Okay, from there, the second phrase. So we start off with that same pull off again, the two to one. It's kind of like a Scottishy ornament. Um, but just 
a little bit more exaggerated, like a, a Scottish E ornament would be more of a flick, like, but we're going to be like, so we're going to start with that. So again, we've got one, two, three, four, so three down, one up. And then we have our circle bows coming in. One, two, open, three, one, and then a pull off here again, three, one. And then kind of like a dig here, where you can go from A down low to A up high, or just A on the D string. start another pull off here okay that's the first half of the A section let's do the first half of the A section second half changes a little bit. Um, starts off very similar, we've got our long squiggle bows. I'm going to call them squiggle bows from now on, where we have uh, one and two, two dips. And then our bow. So this time, it, it starts out the same. We've got squiggle, up bow, and then pull off. But this time, we're going to the second finger, for another sort of squiggle bow. And that's just a little different to what we did in the first part, so. So we have it more kind of like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, consistent bowing there, where it's just like long, 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 okay. Okay, then we have our circle bows again. One, two. So basically we have circle bows the whole time except for the last two notes. That's gonna be one, two, onto that D string, open three, and then one, three, four. You can go one, three, open if you want. And then back to the first finger. A little pull off here, three, one. To the open. So we've got pull off, open, two, open. And then we have two figure of eight bows. All right, sorry. second half of the A section here we have squiggle, squiggle, second, the circles and the figure of eights at the end. Okay, so we have the whole A part now. Now this is the harder, the harder part of the two, so let's go over the whole A part one time. And I'm going to add my fourth finger in here, so you can too if you want. The hard part is getting it in tune. Once you've got it in tune, you just lock them down. Kind of keep that fourth finger down from, from the first half of it, really. Squiggle. 
squiggles, squiggles. all these um, patterns and uh, squiggles and circles and figure of eights is making sense let me know in the comments um, I'd love to know whether that uh, that resonates with you or whether that's confusing um, <laughs> okay let's go up to the, the B part hey everybody thanks so much for tuning in and I hope you're enjoying this lesson playing and teaching music is how I make my living so if you're getting something out of this lesson and you want to help me out, there are a couple of ways to do that that cost no money at all. Click subscribe on my YouTube channel, which is youtube.com forward slash George Jackson Music. Follow me on Instagram or on Facebook or sign up to my mailing list, which is at my website, georgejacksonmusic.com. If you are able to support me to continue creating lessons and music financially, you can check out my CDs, which are available at my website or my Bandcamp page, or you can sign up to my Patreon page. Starting at just $5 a month, uh, you can support me at all sorts of different levels there. And I upload new lessons there every week uh, for just $20. Plus, you'll get immediate access to over 45 lessons, the, the full backlog that I've recorded so far and all of the lessons going forward. So there's a ton of stuff there for you. Uh, thanks so much for your support. And let's get back to this lesson. I'll play the B part one time through. So that's the, the first half of that, the B part there, and the second time through the B part is exactly the same. Start with a little kind of, almost a little throwback to the Scottishy snap here. We've got the open E to the third finger, the A. We've just got like a down bow slur there, and then an up bow. And then we've got another little open E to second finger. Now it's gonna be, um, G natural, of course. I suppose I haven't, I didn't actually point out that this tune is in the key of A, but it's kind of a modal A. We don't actually have a C or a C sharp at any point during the tune, so it could be major or minor, um, but we definitely have the G natural, so. So we've got snap to the A, and then snap to the G. Up to the G, we've got three, two, and then open three. Now we go to it like a double unison E, or just an open E if that's what you want to do. Now this is a dig, it's like E, 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 with the dig. And then we have circle bows, open one, two. scoop there. Okay, from the top. Dig. Okay, and now we're going to go back to the um, to the first phrase. It's going to be exactly the same. We actually get that phrase for free. We've already done that. It's exactly the same. And the ending is pretty similar to, we start off with the unison. Dig. And then one, two, one, open, three, one, three. And then figure of eight bows on the A. Okay, so that goes like this. Second half. Dig. 
So that dig from the E, open E, kind of rolls straight into the melody this time. E, one, two, one, open. Okay, the whole B part. whole tune at a slower tempo here for you to play along with um, and hopefully this has all made sense and um, and has given you a little bit of a um, hand up on uh, getting used to some of these old time bowings as well um, yeah let me know how you went I'd love to I'd love to hear um, what was helpful or what was a little confusing um, and uh, we'll see you next week Let's play the Highlanders Farewell one more time together, nice and slowly. So we've got... All right, here we go. So it's gonna be... About that tempo. One, two, three.